Hi there guys, um, welcome to another uh, video online, I'm just uh, sort of putting this one out there, this is for a team on the pro channel who are already using the fib dashboard, wanting to get some advice and stuff for a few ideas, um, I just literally have my mind frazzled for the uh, the last two hours working on the auto trader project, so just to kind of give you a bit of a quick breakdown, I'm just jumping on TradingView just to try and get an idea of some couple of chart stuff going on, just to try and Give us a bit of an idea of what's going on right now. Um, just checking out some people got some ideas. Uh, well, that one's panned out quite well for someone over there today. Um, so obviously by the looks of it again for an evening, GBP, USD dropping off a cliff. Um, so seems to be going down or GBP, AUD, sorry on this one. Um, pounds obviously dropping uh, against everything right now. Um, what I was trying to show you is to see if I can get a couple of ideas up on the page um, just to kind of show you guys how to find your own ways in um, on certain things um, let me just open up uh, MT4 let's just grab a, a chart here for a second let's just grab GBP USD chart and what we're just having a look at here so trying to get ourselves into something sensible that we can have a look at right well so for instance right now it looks like we've got some some downward trend in the market um, obviously price is dropping pretty much against everything that we can see um, let's just open the GBP USD uh, sorry the NZD as well just to check to see where we are on that um, again this one actually looks like it may be on a, on a reverse point of it and just change it down to a uh, Slower time period, right? These indicators that I've got in here, I'll do another thing about this. This is uh, called linear regression. Um, so basically, what you can use these for is a couple of different things. You can use them for scalping techniques. Um, if you look at these hitting the first linear regression channel, uh, you could have done a buy buy trade. You could have done a sell trade at the top and moved on down. Um, the idea is is that you only buy in the outer regression channels, um, and obviously you'll get the maximum gain. So where this looks like it's going though, is it looks like it's heading to another um, upper regression channel so you should see this obviously price start to decline in this so GBP USD looking at the same trend so you're looking like possibly another another decline uh, or highlight everyone knows I don't like trading jack pairs because they're dangerous as hell all the time um, and look again 30 minute chart looks like we're heading into the regression channel in exactly the same way and this brings me exactly to the right sort of point of what I want to make about using the fib dash um, so for instance if you're watching loads of channels um, you're watching loads of different things and you think right look all of these all of these GBV pairs look like they're going to be heading on a decline right what I'm looking at here this is um, stochastic chart at the bottom as well you're probably going to find that this stochastic start, that the stochastic start is going to cross the 80 line at the top that will then put it into the outer regression line and that will confirm that that's definitely going to be a sell um, and my little indicator will probably make another little sell sign on that. And, uh, but it does look like all GBP is going to be on a decline. So if, for instance, you've got a different pair that is what we call anti-GBP, I'm just going to grab one out of the list. So basically where GBP is your second uh, string to it, so it would be like your opposite. Let's see. Right, let me just, uh, I'll bring this up on the, on the Fib Dash, right. So, what we're looking at here, to give you a proper rundown on Fib Dash, um, these are for your auto trading options, and basically what these buttons do up here, these allow you to, um, sorry, these ones um, get you to buy and sell baskets. So, the top left side is baskets, uh, and down here, the buy and sell buttons are for your auto trading. So, for instance, if you turn, um, so if you turn your autos on over here, you can trade whatever you want to trade with them. Your buying the sell buttons will allow you in order to make trades on all, um, sorry, on all pairs. So what you're looking at currently um, is the sell button here will allow you to sell everything in the baskets. So this, this gives you an entire cross range of baskets on everything. Um, to change what you're going to auto trade, you can turn trades on and off as you want. So you can go into the options of the fib dash you can set it that it only trades certain pairs so for instance 
you could run multiple fib dashes. Um, you could run one for um, UK session, one for uh, like a US session, uh, Canada, etc. And you could one um, run another for Asia session. Um, but you could set them up so they only trade the relevant pairs for that time, right? So, for instance, what we've done, Sunny, I've got this set up on demo, so we can kind of do what we like with it. Um, obviously, we've clicked sell. That's allowed us to sell every pair that's currently set up. You'll notice there's a couple of pairs here. CAD CHF, that's turned off at the minute. Um, NZD CAD, NZD Swiss, uh, both of these are deactivated at the minute, so they can't be traded full stop manually or auto, right? What you can do though, let me just, uh, I'm going to close with this. These buttons here, one means close all buys, one means close all, and one means close all sells. So we're just going to click that, close all those sells. And what this does is it'll automatically go through and it'll close all of your sell positions in one hit. Um, it takes time doing that, there you go. So that's all gone. All right. But let's just say here we was talking about GBP, set, um, sorry, GBP pairs all being weak. So it looks like all GBP pairs are down. Let's say if you was trying to news trade, let's just say like the other night we was we were saying, look, do you know what? We've got a massive, massive crash in the pound, but really, like we need to be jumping on a buy now at this point. We've dropped 900 points. We we've got a room now to get back in. But how do you go about making a trade? Um, appreciate this only works on the desktop, hence why we've got the fifth dash on. But how long would it take you to have jumped in? At your fixed lot sizes so we've got fixed lot sizes at 0.1 let's just say we went oh no we want it to be in stronger than that let's just quickly put the lot size up to 0.3 and this is going to be a bit of insanity I'm not going to click the buy button but I'm going to do it on the GBP sells and we definitely know like news has come um, GBP's on a sell all day long we're gone it's going to be going down we're going to click the sell button just above GBP this lets you trade the basket and you can see now all of the GBP pairs and now sold yeah so for instance euro gbp which is an anti gbp cell yeah has actually bought on that so rather than selling it's actually bought that trade and the other direction yeah as you can see over here sold lots 0.03s bought lots 0.03 so what you're doing by selling that is you're selling all gbp strength so whether it be an opposite pair or not it's going to make the right trade for you. So all of these trades will now see benefit. Throw them saying, I'm just going to leave these trades now going because we, we kind of pretty much know that we're going in the right direction with that. Um, and it's demo. Nobody cares whether we're winning or losing. Um, but this is how you would trade any pairs in in bulk. So let's just say you set your fib dash out. You only wanted to run one fib dash. That would let you go along and say trade all of your European pairs. So GBP pound, US dollar, for instance, you might want to run um, trading or on auto trade all throughout the day but only for um, the US UK sessions right and we can just set it up to run like that auto trade is pretty simple um, you just click the auto button it will say auto active that will now allow it to trade um, under its own merit based on the settings that you already have to set up in the property section so a couple of you guys know what I'm doing with that I'm working on some things for you um, how this works it uses your moving averages so you've got moving average one moving average two so you can see these values here it's all mathematics um, so you're looking in between um, the MMA crossovers um, these are trends so ABC patterns um, you're looking at the other bits and pieces you've got let me find what else we've got in here um, these bits at the end um, you've got you can trade on trend so if for instance it's picked up that there is definitely downtrend um, for instance in pairs so like euro cad um, it's just signaling that it's definitely downtrend i've not personally looked at it you could click the button uh, and bring a chart up i don't think it's going to do it in mine because i've got it separately there you go euro cad so it's currently following a downtrend at the minute which it's it has been it's been correct from the top of the regression channel it's hit a bottom of, um, of a linear regression channel and it's not actually continued, it's not actually gone up really. It's floated in the side channel and gone down. Um, and it might be the fact that we're sitting currently outside of market hours for it, but look, every single one's different. Um, I'm not going into great detail in the analysis of anything. Um, you can set up here um, the ways it wants to trade. Um, you can also adjust up here. So for instance, these are your TPs um, and your stop losses. 
Uh, you can set um, trailing stops on all orders in the properties section, um, but that's something you have to do. You can't do that evenly on here. Um, one of the things it does here as well, you've got locks, so take profit, um, pip locks, and break even. So you can set this that once your uh, your stop loss will lock into break even once your trade's gone into um, once your trade's gone into five pips profit. Um, you can move these all around. These are quite easy to set up in the property section. So kind of once you know what your plan is and where you're going to go with it, you can do it from there. Um, these are reversals. So what this is saying in here is in the trend that these currently sit in. So whether they're on a downtrend or an uptrend, etc., and what they're following on, these are reversal patterns. So for instance, if you're going to let this trade for reversal, I would suggest that you set up a fib dash for trading trend if you're going to use it for auto that is so set it up so it's got small lot sizes following trend um, and then for instance set another one up on the same time frame but turn trading on trend off but turn auto trading on reversals on uh, and maybe use a higher lot size with a very small tp so use it for scalping reversals on the way back um, so let's just say you was trading 0 0.01 lots down um, in a downward trend, um, let's just say for instance you was following GBP USD 0.01 down, um, and then you get to a point where actually there's going to be a reversal kick in. Um, what you don't really want to do is you won't want to close your long term sell on a minor reversal of 10 points or 6 points or something like that. Um, but what you are going to want to do is that if, if you're really scalping in, then you'll just want to use your reversals um, in order to trade, say. 0 0.03, 0 0.05 on a 6 point TP. So obviously if it, you're going to scalp 5 or 6 points on the way up at a higher lot size, you could quickly take 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pound in profit um, on a reversal scalp. And then the trend continue, continues to go down. Your scalp's in and out, but your long term trade's still active. If you try and do all of that on auto on the one dashboard, it will not work. It will. You'll get so many false trades, so many doubles. You, you'll get so much loss in it. It will never be a proper working system. So I suggest to either individually break stuff up, um, or don't generally use it for auto trading as a whole. This is a really good terminal to have. Like you can see, I've got this undocked um, from my terminal together. So I can use this on a couple of different things. I've got a tablet, Windows PC. Um, so I can run that on the tablet PC so I can hold that and I've got touch screen so that will work from that um, while I've got it set up to um, additional two monitors separately so I can have my charts dot separately on the other on the other charts and I can be holding this wirelessly in the room um, on the tablet uh, and then it just allowed me to trade and go through whichever way I want it to go um, but so that's kind of a breakdown um, use it for basket buys and sells that's really really good to jump on um, like news trading um, reversal trades, you can get your ups and downs in it really quickly. Um, you can have this so you can have pop up chart, so it will pop you up a chart separately, um, and there's some other bits and pieces on it. You can close um, automatically all, you've, all of your profit trades by clicking the button. So, say if you, uh, you got to the point where you was closing at the end of a session um, and you've got X amount in profit, it will show you in these tabs over here on the right. Um, profit will just obviously show green. Um, once you've got it, you could close all of your profitable trades in one hit just by clicking the button, uh, and you can close all of your loss-making trades in one go as well. So, for instance, if you are getting spiked by news, but you're on the wrong side of it and you just want to get out, then you can just click the loss button. That will close all of your loss-making trades in one hit, or you could close your um, click your C button in the middle there. That will close all trades, um, full stop, regardless of where they are. Um, note any other trades you've got going in your account that are not from FibDash will show in FibDash. So you will have your lot sizes and everything in here coming from it. So if you are going to close all orders using FibDash, it will close all orders that you physically have on your account. Um, and there's nothing else you can do about that. Um, I think if there's nothing much else to use, these are just turning on your, your auto trading bits. Um, I'll send you all, uh, all members. We'll get all of my settings for all of the different zones and stuff I'm working on at the minute. Um, up here on the right, though, that's good. Um, I get a lot of people. I get one member in particular, so this video is dedicated to a shout out to him, who is constantly asking me what time does the market open. All right, you can see on here in the top right hand side, this tells you the times. 
um, and these are obviously the times that it's open currently in their marketplaces um, so you've got the London time down here it's 9.38 where we are currently uh, market doesn't open till tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock um, you've got some bits down here I'm just looking this is actually um, just pulled out here this is on Auto Trader now so USD CAD um, I noticed someone in our, um, our telegram chat just talking about it just now um, about getting into it and I've just had the alerts come up on my phone um, Auto Fib 1 trades just been placed so it's just bought in on USD CAD and if you can see why um, averages up momentum's up uh, MA and uh, MA1 and MA2 are up you've got all three you see your ABC is confirmed so you've got an upward trend in your in your um, your trade you're all in the green you've signaled a buy it's automatically bought that and placed that trade so we're going to run this and let this thing go see how this ends up um, and I'll post a few uh, results and stuff out of it in the chat group um, but that's it for today um, I've got some other stuff I'm going to hopefully work on maybe post maybe later today or tomorrow morning um, and I shall see you guys another day thanks very much